Hey YouTube, what's happening? I'm back again. Talk a little more about ETA movements. I think that uh, if you're gonna buy an ETA watch, buy a quartz. It's gonna be accurate. You're gonna get the watch, you know, that you like. Uh, it's still gonna be good looking. Um, you could depend on it. You know, it's not gonna be like one of their, you know, automatic or mechanical movements that, you know, they put in everything. The way I look at it is if you're gonna drive a BMW, you're gonna get a BMW engine in your BMW. If you're gonna be driving a Ferrari, you're gonna get a Ferrari engine in your Ferrari. If you're driving a Toyota pickup, you're gonna have a Toyota engine in your in your truck, okay? Why do you want a watch that has a different movement than what the brand, you know, produces? Why would you want that? Back in the day when they used to make all these watches, you know, 50 to 100 years ago, they all had in-house movements then. Why can't it be the same way now? Why spend four to five to ten thousand dollars for watches that have ETA movements? It makes no sense at all. Buy in house, and the reason why I mentioned earlier about Seiko is that Seiko makes their own movements. They make in house movements. They make damn good movements. Okay, so they don't go and buy. You know, it's just like how Tag Heuer had to steal. You know or I wouldn't say still, but by, um, you know, Seiko's movement for one of their chronographs. It's just, you know, ridiculous. Make your own stuff, you know, buy a brand that makes their own stuff, that puts their heart and soul into their own movements. That's the kind of stuff that you want. And that's why Rolex is still the best and probably always going to be the best. And that's why they hold their value. That's why everybody wants them because they take the pride. They, they put all they can into their watches all the know-how everything so that's you know pretty much that sums it all up i think that if you're going to buy eta uh because you're buying the you're buying when you buy these watches you're buying what's inside you know a lot of people are just looking at the outside you're buying what's inside you know is it gonna is it gonna be worth money later or are you just buying something that's gonna be you know it's like buying a car you buy a you know a car for 30,000 and then a year later it's worth you're actually not even a year later you know 6 months later it's worth uh, 20,000 you know i mean you got to look at it as an investment also if you're going to be passing this down to your family member uh, to your kids you know whatever it may be what if you have to sell it later you're going to lose your ass it's not even worth it so anyway that's just something else to think about but uh, please subscribe if you got any questions please you know email me um, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll answer any questions. Uh, I could do some reviews for you. Um, you know, thank you. Have a good night.